Good morning my dear loving children welcome to Vidyanagar Public Schools online classes In the last class we discussed the story of wildlife in a city pond today we will learn a bit of grammar are you ready yes do you know what is an adjective yes adjectives are words that describe nouns adjectives can answer such questions as what kind which one how many for example if we see a sentence if we ask the question what kind to the noun we'll get an answer that is also an adjective and if we ask which one to the sentence then also we'll get the an- answer which is an adjective and how many then also we'll get an answer that is also an adjective and let's see what kind of adjective that we are going to learn today there are different kinds of adjectives let's see here are they first one descriptive adjective from the very sentence or very word itself we can understand it's it is something that describes right they describe the nature or characteristics of a person animal or a thing if we say for example intelligent girl beautiful girl red red rose these are all adjectives which describe right did you describe the noun second one demonstrative adjective what is demonstrative adjective yes that which demonstrates about something about the noun right they are used to demonstrate or point to a particular person animal or thing right see for example that man that bag this umbrella this book these are examples so here this that this and all these are used to demonstrate the noun right see what is possessive adjective you know possessive yes they are used to show that something belongs to someone for see for example your mug your car his guitar his bag his banana so these are called possessive adjectives an adjective of quantity quantity they indicate the amount of a noun they do not indicate exact number but okay say for example many students many colors many boys enough milk enough banana okay these are examples of adjectives of quantity then what is numeral adjective yes they give the number of a noun they also show the place of a noun in a sequence say for example three birds the first match two boys these are examples of numeral adjectives then what is interrogative adjective yes they are used to ask questions about the nouns what book which girl whose flower these are some examples okay ma'am hope that you understood and let's see some examples some some questions that are given in your textbook let's answer those questions yes see the first one I spotted a family of five birds today. Which adjective is used here? Five, which is that numeral adjective. See the second sentence. I didn't recognize those birds. They had black and white feathers. You see which are the adjectives used here? Those birds, which means demonstrative adjective. black and white which is that descriptive yes descriptive adjective then see this 
third sentence the mystery birds were the first i spotted that day mystery is a descriptive adjective first is the yes is the numeral adjective yes and look at the fourth sentence i looked closer and saw that they had green patches on their neck here which is the adjective yes green is the descriptive adjective and there is the possessive adjective look at the next sentence i checked my encyclopedia and i found no clues as to what family they might belong to so here my is the possessive adjective right then next is what what family so what is an interrogative adjective here so i ma'am hope that you understood these all okay then let's see the next exercise in your text see here you have to fill the sentences with the correct adjective everest is the highest peak in the world so here highest is the adjective and next sentence this is the dash play i have ever heard on the radio you have to use most this is the most interesting play i have ever heard on the radio in the next sentence the planet mars is dash from earth than the moon there we use farther from earth than the moon and in the next sentence her french is quite dash but not as dash as i expected so here we use her french is quite good but not as good as i expected okay in the next sentence i thought my handwriting was dash but my brother's handwriting is dash here we use the adjective i thought my handwriting was bad but my brother's handwriting is worse health is dash than wealth but health with well would be even dash which adjective we would use here health is more important than wealth but health with wealth would be even better okay let's see this exercise here you have to underline the relative clause before talking about relative clause do you know what is a clause yes a clause will be having is a part of a sentence which starts with a relative pronoun here you can see an example the pond which was dry and lifeless in summer came alive during the monsoon here the clause is the part which starts from the relative pronoun which which was dry and lifeless in summer so relative clauses are the clauses which are related to the main clause so you have to underline the relative clauses in these sentences she returned the sweater that belonged to me here the answer is that belonged to me that is the relative clause the piano which i bought last week is not working here which i bought last week is the relative clause samara loves watching films that make her laugh here that make her laugh is the relative clause the next sentence my grandfather who lives in kashmir is going to visit us here who lives in kashmir is the relative clause this poor where i grew up is the capital of assam here where i grew up is the relative clause so in all these sentences we saw the relative clause which are starting with a relative pronoun like which what who where etc right these sentences are called relative clauses okay all these things that we discussed here you have to write down in your textbook also you have another homework you have to write down the vocabulary part in the textbook and also the dictionary work also you have to do and the project that you have to do in an f4 size paper and submit before next week okay these are your homework